Hello and welcome. Uh, my name remains Joe Vika, and uh, I'm reaching you from Joe Vika TV. Uh, the topic I um, just want to briefly announce that um, it's time we look into this issue of Pastor Jeremiah or Moto Fufuni and um, Ruth Matthew, the physically challenged lady. A lady who is physically challenged, a crippled lady with four children. She had problem according to the story and she was looking for solution she went to the church of pastor jeremiah omoto fufuyi on arrival she was welcome she paid some money as i heard before she was even allowed to see the man of god in quote i have to use that word in quote because the activities of what I'm hearing is making me to really doubt how people will say they are men, children of God, not even talking about men of God. If you are a child of God, you have to show from your action. So, that somebody will pay money to see a servant of God that is the beginning of my doubt about whosoever, whatever you claim to be. I have my doubt over you. So she paid her money and before she was allowed to see him, when the lady came, some of you know the story, but why I want to make this video, I want to make my own point. Because that is the, what some of you, everybody on social media, it is what is raining. She was, and then she was allowed to see the man. The man came, was asking her, you have all these four children? And they were all four boys. To cut the long story short, before the woman left that particular church, one of the child got missing. One of the child, who was the youngest one, was walking around, got missing two years ago. Now, as the child got missing, this lady cried and shouted, Please, I need my child. Since two years up to now, she has never had anybody giving her any reasonable um, account of what happened to her own child. According to her story, her narration, she has been approached by Omoto Fufuyi to pay some, to receive some money to forget about this child. She said, no, I can't have two million or four million or how many million of money that the child cries as I sleep, I hear the voice of that child crying every day. I need my child. I don't need the money. They told that as I heard, you have other children. Forget about this. Why are you so easy? She said, no, I came to a church. How can my child be missing in a church? That has, has this dear lady has been laying complaint to various quarters. She has, like she has gone to a Brekete. Is it Brekete family? And unfortunately, the what I heard about break the family, the way he handled it, I'm still shocked. But I'm not going to conclude because I want to put up a call to break the family. Please, if anybody knows the contact to reach break the family, do me a favor. I need to call him because I have respect and regard for that man, Isa. But what I'm hearing about this lady is putting me in doubt about them. I cannot conclude because I've not heard from the other side party. But back, back, what they said that the way the man handled it was not really helping matters. Because I saw one of the video clips, they were busy asking her. You told her, we didn't tell us that he came with the other one. The issue is, is it that she came with the other one? He didn't come. The issue or, or the, the, the cause of the matter is a child is missing. And you guys are asking her, why didn't you tell her this or tell her that? Out of, out of what, what the girl is crying for. And they were asking her another thing all together. And today the man has off his car, his hand from the case. To worsen the matter, but the lady couldn't really stop. She kept on crying and shouting, I need my child. The next thing we heard, that once somebody claimed to be trying to send money to her account, ask her that I need to also come and help you wherever you are living, change your condition. 
and she gave her address in Abuja. They f went to Abuja, took this girl, flew her back to Wari, and was ar arrested her, put her in prison, in the cell of prison. Now, Allah, the case has gone to court. And the court, they are accusing her that I told you that she's using her account to do Yaho Yaho. A crippled lady with four children. Just because she's asking a pastor, give me, I need to, I need to know what happened to my child. That she, they have labeled her in worry that she's a cripple, that she's a, a scammer. I've been listening and watching those videos. I don't want to get involved in because I'm very careful in talking about personal matters. Because tomorrow it will look as if you are running down another person to rise. But I cannot keep quiet. It hurts me when somebody is being subjected to unnecessary torture, which the person shouldn't go through. It is very, very wrong and wickedness. Because if truly that that child, that the, the, uh, uh, Jeremiah is not involved in this matter, why will he go to the extent of getting that lady arrested? A lady of crippled, you need to see her house, a very popular that live in. They went to Abuja, put her in plane, brought her back. And somebody, thank God for someone that, who recorded the incident, how she was crawling down with her knees from aircraft. When she was arrested, in the name of arrest. All the big men in Nigeria, have they ever been arrested that way? That lady is not a big man to be arrested in the air, with aircraft, put in the gym there, because a pastor that is billionaire is involved. Well, as I said, I'm not going to conclude whether he's in, he's the one who arrested or whatever. I'm going to be having program tomorrow. I want to have a contact with one or two, three persons that knows about this case. I've been discussing with them. I, I, it's going to be live on my studio. I want to discuss that. So I want you to do me a favor. If truly this lady is being subjected to this torture, everybody has to put hands on deck. Let us fight this injustice. A crippled lady, a, lame, a physically challenged lady, looking for her child. They are arresting her, putting her in jail. The remaining three children that is in the house, they are there crying for their mother. The only parent they have. Nobody is listening. Everybody kept their heart good. The police, the pastor, or whosoever, closed their heart against innocent children that are crying that my mother is not there. The crippled mother that is feeding them. And somebody will lock up his heart without showing mercy. Because somebody said, I need my child. So I want to, to some of you may be here, also clapping, this is my papa in the Lord. Mama, papa. You don't call somebody papa in the Lord if such a thing is happening. Because a lot of people, as you people have been saying, I'm showing you, I am distributing money to people. Now, why is it that that compassion that makes you to give money, that compassion will not manifest for you to help this woman looking for her own child? So your child has CCTV camera. Why not show the world the CCTV camera? How the mother came in with the child and she also left with her child and it didn't happen in your church. Defend yourself. Not arresting her. Call, get the CCTV camera with date. Look at when she came in. Look at when she left with her child. And if there is nothing like that, that she didn't live with that child, they saw that it happened there. Who did it? Who took away the child? What happened to her child? Is it wrong for someone to ask for something that belongs to him or her? So when I keep on seeing the torture they are putting this lady through, it makes me cry. It makes me ask people, are we really human beings? Do we really fear God? Hey! A crippled lady with four children, you took her to prison Nassau, and the children are there crying for their mother, a poor woman, and you are a person that has been distributing money? Well, as I say, I'm trying to hold myself in this matter so if this thing is if if uh, i want to personally the little people the people i know that are compassionate that are in nigeria that have their contact i will make that video tomorrow we we'll hear it from the direct source the guest is going to be with me i conclude with him he's going to be i will be sharing those videos to those people let them watch and see they will keep quiet that such a lady with that will be suffering in the hands of so-called people that have money i'm policed as i heard He's also working for the man. I saw a video somebody met this guy. What do you call it? Um, re, being re George. I saw policemen doing parade in the church of Omoto Fofui. Policemen, army, military, they were in their uniform. Doing parade for him. And I also heard that one of the, past, the, one of the top men in police is, a, is a, a member of his church. 
that if whatever be the reason is that why you should not consider a lady that is crying if okay that she's not crippled this is a lady crying for her own child crying for her own child the pastor is good enough to help that lady discover that child if you don't have don't know anything about that if that really cross to that pastor or motor for even if they are accusing you all you need to do is say laugh. He's accusing me. No, well, I know the pain of a lady, a child, a woman that lost a child. Don't worry, I will help you. Let's do it for the child. You will help her out, not arresting her. This shows that the the pastor should have more to, more to explain about that missing child. I rest my case for today, but it hurts me so much. I will make in contact with the guy as soon as I come alive. Do me a favor, everybody. That video I, after making, I, I plead with you in the name of God. Let it go viral. Send every quarter they will hear it. And Nigeria need to shake because of the blood of that innocent boy called testimony that is missing. Because of the nature of that guy. We cannot keep quiet. Everybody will not keep hands off. Keep quiet. And that lady, that guy will be subjected under this kind of wickedness. Where is the God of the poor? Where is the God of the poor? I will do my own little way. But you guys will do us a favor. Share video, let it go viral. We are talking to Moto Fufi. Do you have heart at all? I saw you distributing money. That is so that you have compassion. That's what I think. But why is that compassion in the case of this lady? Say she came to your church and she's looking for her baby. She didn't accuse you, but they, 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 she only said, My baby lost in your church. What have you done to discover this baby? Are you telling us that you have heard that? I will come back tomorrow for this matter. God bless all of you. I just closed from my work. But the, the, I watched the video. It had been paining me. I don't want to keep quiet about it. So I just want to walk into my car now. We will talk about this tomorrow. God bless all of you. Thank you. Let me share the video.